Hey guys, in this video I will show you what you can do with the OTG cable. So we all know that you can connect a pen drive with the OTG cable to your Android phone and access the content. But what's more, what's next, let's explore. So the first one on the list is the keyboard. Yes, you can connect a keyboard to your Android phone with the OTG cable. So just connect the OTG cable and connect the keyboard. This will come handy when you have to type long word document or write a long email. The next on the list is a USB mouse. Yes, you can connect a USB mouse in your Android phone and do whatever you want to do. The third one on the list is a USB fan. Yes, they cost like 50 rupees or 100 rupees that is US $1 or $2 and if you want a good quality one Xiaomi produces this for rupees 300. The air from the fan is pretty good and if your phone is heating too much you can use this fan to cool your phone also. The next on the list is a card reader. Yes, you can connect a memory card reader to your Android phone and copy, paste, delete the content. The next on the list is a game controller. You can buy this game controller for roughly 200 rupees or US 4 to 5 dollars and you can play any game that supports game controller with this. The next on the list is a USB light. Yes, you can connect a USB based lamp to your Android phone and this will come handy when you don't have electricity and this is way more stronger than your phone's flashlight. The next on the list is a LAN cable. Yes, you can connect a LAN cable to your Android phone. So for example, let's say you don't have Wi-Fi in your home but you have a broadband connection. So you have to buy this controller called LAN to USB. The links will be in the description. It will cost you like 5 to 6 dollars, 300 to 400 rupees. So once you do this, connect it to the OTG cable and connect the LAN cable and as you can see that the net is working but the Wi-Fi and data connection is turned off. The next on the list is a hard drive. Yes, if you have a hard drive like 500 GB, 1 TB, 2 TB, you can connect it to your phone and read the content, copy it, paste it, do whatever you want to do. The next on the list is a DSLR. And yes, you can connect your DSLR with an Android phone and control it. There is an app called DSLR Dashboard that you have to install on your phone and then you can control your DSLR. So the next one is a USB sound card. You can buy this for like rupees 100 to 150. The links will be in the description. So if your 3.5 mm jack is not working, you can plug this USB sound card to OTG and listen to the music. So with one OTG cable, Android can do so many things. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. A bonus trick for you awesome guys. The next on the list is charge another phone. Yes, you can charge your friend's phone with your phone. So just connect the OTG cable to your phone and then connect the normal USB cable. As you can see that the other phone is charging. So that's it for this video guys. Click the red subscribe button if you want more cool tech videos and I will see you in the next one. Of things we know.